so we're at the back of the kite surfing uh, area uh, and on the beach area and the checkered area on the map there is the area of the beach set aside for water sports where there's no swimming so that kind of goes from just to the right of here perhaps where the uh, the white railings start and then up beyond your site to a place called Splash Point uh, which is marked on the map there there's an area further down the beach that is uh, lifeguard monitored for swimming and that's the, the beginning of which you just see there marked by that legend the big building there is the theatre the pavilion theatre used to be the real sun centre but that's moved down The real sun centre's moved further along again out of sight that way. In the far distance over there you can see the uh, mountains of Snowdonia just about make them out under the cloud cover. And there is a massive wind farm out there. I haven't got anything positive to say about that so I won't. Okay, I'm in the uh, kite surf cafe and I'm just getting myself a nice coffee. Yes, sir. Thank you, thanks very much. And I'll just show you uh, the inside. There's a nice uh, wood burning fire, which is rather nice. And that should keep the children interested. Gorgeous array of ice creams. Coffee looks good. And on a wet, windy and miserable day, you can sit inside by a nice warm log fire and watch TV. <laughs> Seating area. It's a pity I haven't caught anyone out yeah, kite surfing. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Any idea what time? Because yeah, I'll come and about film. About, I'll say 45 minutes to an hour's time. Going to oh, all well, right. Oh, great. Sorry, your name is Jamie. Jamie, all right, mate. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice. Yeah. Nice beer garden. Let's have a look. <laughs> a really good facility. Look, there's uh, these cable drums really make really good uh, tables. Marvelous. Very nice. And a little bouncy area for kids. This is the easiest place to learn to park surf. When people come down and we get a good in three to five hours. We're at the only thing like Chris over there, the proper addiction to win out. So you can get expert tuition in kite surfing here, and you've got the perfect kite surfing facility on your back door. Because it's plenty windy out there. Well, take care of the lovely.
For those interested in the uh, sport of uh, kite surfing, there's Kite World magazine. Have a look at that. That will keep you up to date with all the latest equipment. Hey, how do you say? Wow. Wow. So this is where you buy all the gear. That's it. So this is where you come to get the latest kite surfing equipment and it's called PKS Pro Kite Surfing Water Sports. Right, these lads are just getting ready to go out and do some kite surfing. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> are you cool with that? <laughs> Instagram. That's all right. All right. Come on, mate. You know, these things to do with famous Instagrammers. Selfies. No, where like you put a photo on and then you have to like put my my name. Hashtag. 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 So this rather impressive edifice is the uh, real lifeboat station and run by the Royal National Lifeboat Institute which is largely run and staffed by volunteers. Brave volunteers who risk their lives to save others. So it's a frontline service. That's the tug for the boat and that's the launch ramp I've just walked up. You can see my kite surfing friends in the background. Looking back to the Pro Kite Surfing Cafe and facility over there, the Travel Lodge and the Pavilion Theatre beyond. So that is the lifeboat. Rather impressive, huh? And there's another wee lifeboat here. The rib. So I'm just reading here, there's a free music festival coming up on July the 27th, 53 degrees north, free music festival, live music, licensed bar, hot food, refreshments, and it's here at the Real Lifeboat Station from 2pm to 8pm on July the 27th. So that's one not to miss, that's the inside of the Lifeboat Station, and the guys are busy keeping everything ship shape 
Thanks for your service, lads. So here on the south side, sorry, on the west side of the Travelodge is the Sunverge pub, very popular, recently opened. And I'm told a very nice place to take a meal of an evening, although I haven't visited it yet. So maybe there'll be a review coming up about that soon. Pro kite surfing Hot Wheels. Got to be done really, hasn't it? Wow, there's some bog frog tyres they are. Wow. That's the details you need. Kite Surfing North Wales on Facebook and Simon at ProKiteSurfing.co.uk and that phone number. Okay. So this is the process where the cell is inflated to keep the kite rigid and as you can see it's pretty hard work. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.